all right all right yes thank you very very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel we are bringing you a lot more fantastic updates videos and everything on this channel yes um the united states of america versus ghana black stars we will be coming on um on the 17th of up october 2023 now Tarek lamte is injured yes <laughs> yeah it's so sad though, how Tarek Lamte just gets injured every time. Um, it's very, very sad. But then we are going to look into details about that one. Also, we will talk about Mohamed Kudus scoring his first um, English Premier League goal for West Ham United. He has spoken about the goal. What did he say? Asamojan has also spoken about the goal. What did he also say? A lot of people are disagreeing with Asamojan based on... Uh, for what he said about concerning Kudus Mohammed, we are going to look into that whether we also disagree or not. If our Kudus is trending because of one, <laughs> it is very funny, but then yes, he's trending because of this one picture or yes, one picture or incident from the stadium. And we are going to show that to you, and then yes, we see how things go. Also, we talk about new Ghana boy, fantastic, fantastic player. I'm just beginning to love this player. I'm going to talk to you more about him. Fantastic new Black Stars player. <coughs> we are going to talk to you about him. Give me zero Ghana three. We will talk about that one also. Thomas Partey um, helping Arsenal to win their first game. In fact, one of they are, they are getting a win over Manchester City. We are going to look at that particular one. They won 1-0 one um, over Man City. That's the first time Mikel Arteta has beaten Pep Guardiola. Yes, uh, we are going to look into all of that on this channel. Stone Boy, uh, Kudus, all of those issues. Do want to subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit the notification bell, and select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section. If you have any, it's always a pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very very much please let's start from here fatal ishaku is a fantastic Ghanaian player who plays for leicester city in the english championship um i already told you that he's doing very very well in the english championship he has created the most chances three for leicester city in their game versus stoke city over the weekend they won 1-0 and uh, fatal ishaku was also in action for them only one leicester city player has created more big chances than the forward um this season which is five so only one player has created more big chances than fatal ishahaku ishahaku is doing very well he's trying to get his form back the form we knew him before moving to sports in lisbon he's trying to dominate the championship and doing very very well with leicester city they are currently um second on the league log yes so they may be coming back to the english premier league if they keep up their good form and consistency over there now let's talk about um thomas party fantastic Ghanaian player and um, came back from injury and played some minutes for arsenal football club in their 1-0 win versus manchester city since michael ateta took over arsenal as the coach of the side he's never beating manchester city in fact even a draw crown he will struggle to get it he's all, manchester city is always beating them but then today they um, ensure that they beat manchester city 1-0 through gabriel martinelli yes then so if you look at this picture very well this was the time um Pate was coming into the game kai Havertz, thomas Pate, and then tomeyasu um coming into the game and after this to change that is when the goal came because um kai Havert actually assisted the gabriel martinelli goal and that was a very very beautiful one for arsenal football club so thomas party back from injury he has been called out for the united states of america versus ghana as well as mo um, as well as mexico the friendly games ghana black stars will be playing versus usa and mexico thomas party has been called up and i'm sure he will play some few minutes for the black stars um in those particular games so we'll continue to monitor and see how things go the mohammed kudus today scored his first english premier league goal for west ham united in a very difficult game they were playing at the london stadium yes um they were actually losing the game 2-1 before mohammed kudus came on and then when he came on yes he gave them their goal that made it 2-2 for west ham united and what a beautiful goal that was what a beautiful goal and the whole stadium were just happy to see Mohamed Kudus score and more importantly to have their team draw the game rather than losing at home. And that was a very good one from Kudus Mohamed. Now, let's talk about this picture. It's very much trending and it is funny. So Kudus Mohamed, in fact, a fan is wearing Kudus Mohamed's shirt. 
and there is a lady standing be, be behind that fan and the lady has goose my word the lady has teeth. <laughs> the way this picture is trending on twitter oh my goodness me but it is funny yeah Ghanaians they like things so it is normal it's not, it's not only Ghanaians the whole world everybody like things so the lady has things but let's look more um important issues as Jan reacted to kudus muhammad go and in fact this is what as Jan had to say about the muhammad kudus go oh god i'm trying to get it he says what well, i have seen some big cha changes in kudus play he's beginning to understand how to move into spaces to receive the ball and releasing the ball at the right time if he continues like this consistently he will be a world-class player and this is where people don't agree with us if you get check the comments a lot of people are saying that no kudus is a, a, a world-class player as you have to note it kudus is a world-class player and that's what Ghanaians are saying that Kudis is a world class player, but I don't understand. Kudis is not a world class player. No, he's he's not a world class player. In fact, nobody knows a world class player better than Asamojan. So if Asamojan says Kudis is not a world class player, you have to understand. This one, it is not that. Oh, by force, he's a Ghanaian zoo. Baby, on the record, he's the MVP in the It's not like that. He's not a world class player yet, but he can become a world class player, and that is what Asamojan is saying that he will be a world class player. The consistency is very important. He has to perform at the highest level. Where was he? Play in every division, every division, you don't become a world class player in every division. No, you don't become you become a world class player in the English Premier League, in the Champions League, where I'm consistently for several years playing in the Champions League, winning games, winning trophies. Yes, that is where scoring a lot of goals. That is how you become a world class. Kudus is nowhere near. Or please, he's coming. He's now 23 years old. He's very young. By 29, 28 there, obviously he can become a world class player, and he will be by that time. Because even with the blasters, he does very well with us. So Ghanaians should just relax, okay, and let's not rush um, Kudus Mohammed. But before we move from Kudus Mohammed, let's talk about um, Stone Boy. I already told you that Stone Boy was at the stadium watching Kudus Mohammed and my oh mind what a support from stone boy for kudus muhammad he actually really really supported kudus muhammad very well and that was um <laughs> yes that is good that is very very refreshing to see because look uh, we have to support Ghanaians. yes supporting one another and when kudus scored a goal stone Boy was very happy and enjoying <coughs> at the stadium where he was there everybody was watching <coughs> at stone boy and that is very very important over there now let's talk about this new ghana boy his name is forcing amankwa he plays for salzburg today he scored a goal for salzburg as a number a um, number eight a box to box midfielder a, mid, a central midfielder just like modern day football says he's a Ghanaian and he's doing very very well for salzburg he's he's scoring in the champions league in the their league um Austral league and all of that he's doing very well today salzburg drew 2-2 yes they didn't do well crap but they drew 2-2 and that was a very bad one for salzburg but then that is how things are this is our Ghanaian boy i'm so much impressed with him and he's doing very well at salzburg if you have time you can actually monitor him he plays in the champions league yes salzburg plays in the uefa champions league and he does very very well when he plays there um goals plus assist by players age 20 and below he's very young goal, 20 years and below in the austrian bundesliga this season um he is with four that is goals plus assist only in the league so he has scored goals and then the assist to amounting to four as a very young player the player with the most is an ivory coast um player with seven and um, karim kunate so forcing amankwa top 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 new black star player ah uh, um obon homo de yebon ambassador so honum the ghana under 20 women's team went away to win 3-0 over guinea as they prepare evad as they, they they play the world cup qualifiers under 20 level world cup qualifiers for the women's side we went away and beat them 3-0 very important we will come home back home and then try to beat them again and then we qualify to the next round of the qualifications very very important one congratulations to coach yusif basigi and the girls in that order so um let's also talk about this issue a lot of issues have been trending and i've got to bring you in fact Tarek lamte is injured united states of america uh, versus ghana we will be playing that today brighton and hove albion played versus liverpool they drew the game 2-2 Tarek lamte was expected to be the left back of the team 
but then he was not even in the squad not in the starting 11 not on the bench and when the when he, the coach of the side was asked he said that Tarek Lamte is not in the squad for today's game against Liverpool because of what because he picked up a knock during midweek and midweek Brighton and Hove Albion played versus Marcel in the UEFA Europa League yes they drew the game 2-2 also in that particular one in fact he won the man of the match for that game he won the man of the match for that game but yet still he picked up a knock so i don't know if he will be fit for ghana but then that is the very shocking and bad news sad news that Tarek lamte is injured and maybe very much likely he will not be joining the senior national team the ghana black stars for those friendly games will be playing in october don't forget that this weekend is all about the black stars the black stars the black stars ghana will be playing versus mexico and then the united states of america in two international friendly games or to be played in the united states of america do all well to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification behind select or definitely i'll see you in the next update bye bye